Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm actually going to be finger coiling my entire head. And I used to finger coil my heat damage hair whenever they was just straight pieces. I would just finger coil my hair just to help encourage the curl pattern while transitioning before chopping it off because I didn't really do a big chop. I mean, I cut a big chunk of hair but I still had a bunch of straggly pieces. So I would just finger coil my hair and that kind of helped blend everything together. I typically don't finger coil unless I get my hair dyed or I'm bored. Those are the only two, the only two times where I will finger coil my hair. I always do finger coil my hair after I get highlights in my hair because I'm adding bleach into it and that loosens up the curl pattern. So whenever I do finger coils, that just helps remind the curls um, that they are curly. So I just finger coil after I get a hair dyed. I usually get my hair highlighted once or twice a year depending on Ono's availability. Um, and so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. We are going to be finger coiling my hair. And I'm gonna be trying out a combination that I actually have not tried before. And this is the main choice Asian Egyptian line. This is the cuticle control leave-in conditioner, which looks like this. And then I'm gonna follow up with the Asian Egyptian 24 karat glistening gold twisting gel. So it's first time trying these out. Let me just smell this real quick. Mmm, it smells really good and it literally looks gold. And it's very runny, so I'm not gonna tilt it over. Let's go ahead and section my hair. So my hair is already prepped and it's ready to go. It is shampoo conditioned and deep conditioned. So this is what my hair looks like. Um, I'm gonna start in with the leave-in conditioner first. I have not used this like I mentioned, so I don't know how much I should put. Let's see, maybe about, mm, it smells so good. Maybe about that much for this section. And the key to finger coiling um, from when I used to do it and when I do do it is you want your hair to be soaking wet so that your hair doesn't really get um, tangled up in your finger when you're finger coiling. And another trick that I like to do when I finger coil my hair is work in really small sections so when my hair dries I don't have to do a ton of separating and also that would cut the drying timing the drying time in half now finger coiling does take a lot of time that's why I don't really do it all the time I only do it when I'm bored which is really not that often um, but yeah finger coiling does take a lot of time I would recommend finger coiling for sure if you have transitioning hair or you have just straight pieces that just don't want to cooperate just twirl it, try to see its natural curl pattern. My curls, they, cur they curl towards my face for the most part. I mean, every curl is different, but when I'm doing a finger coil, I just pretty much curl it towards my face. So I have, I'm working on this section right here and just really small pieces. So again, the key to finger coiling is making sure the section has enough product and that you're starting from the root and you're working your way down like so for the most part the Denman brush gives me the same kind of effect but I don't have to spend 30 minutes finger coiling my hair you know what I mean so okay so I'm gonna actually time myself it's 315 right now I would say I started about five minutes ago or maybe not even and let's say three minutes but it's 315 so finger coils definitely give you lots and lots and lots of definition and it'll give you that perfect frizz free look that you know if you like definition you don't like frizz I would definitely recommend to finger coil if you have the time and patience because it does take a lot of patience to finger coil your hair I also know that the shingling method is very similar to this you're just taking small pieces instead of twirling it around your finger you kind of just distribute the product like this so if you want me to try that on my hair I can also do it I've done it before and I actually really like the results because it elongates my curl. So it gives me a different look. All right, so let me give you guys a quick close up so you can see what they're looking like so far. All right, this is what they look like. Super defined, super curly, and there's literally no frizz. So I don't wanna bore, bore you guys right now, so I'm gonna fast forward this so you guys can see how I do it throughout my entire hair. 
I am going to be finger coiling them all towards my face because the majority of my curls naturally curl towards my face so it just makes more sense to just encourage the curl pattern more so let's go ahead and fast forward this So I am finally done finger coiling my hair. It took me about, well right now let me just give you guys a quick time check. It is 4.30 right now. It is 4.30 right now. It did not take me an hour and 15 minutes. It did not. I was just distracted. I was watching stuff. I got up a couple times. I would say it took me about 35 minutes at most. So my hair is 100% finger coiled. It is scrunched out. I am going to diffuse my hair, but honestly, you guys, I love how this looks right now. It looks so good, so juicy, and I just cannot wait to see how it looks while it's dry. So far, this is my first time trying this Main Choice 24, 24 Karat Glistening Gold Gel, and I actually really love the way it feels. My curls are super shiny. I'm going to give you guys a close-up in a minute. But my curls are super shiny and they look really good and hydrated. I don't feel a cast yet, so let's see if it dries with a cast. But I love how it looks already. Look, the back of my shirt is soaked. Not, I mean, there's shrinkage, but it's not like super crazy, I wouldn't say. But I'm loving it already. I can't wait to see these results dry. So I'm going to go ahead and diffuse. Um, I'm going to also time how long it took me to diffuse my curls as well. Just to be, you know, accurate and give you guys all the information. I'll be right back to show you guys these juicy results. I love it. I'm just like, I love it. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. That's it. End of the video. I am obsessed. Okay, so this is my hair after I finished diffusing it. I love this. I legit, I'm mind blown. First of all, I'm going to give myself a little trim because while I was diffusing, I saw a couple of stragglers that just need to be cut because those ends are looking a little crazy. This is what I do, you guys. Every time I do my hair and I see something that I don't like, like this right here, see that? All of this, it's going bye-bye. Because it was ruining my washing out. These little ends that are just like thinning out, I just kind of cut them out. You know what's funny? Back in the day when I used to finger coil my hair more often, when I was transitioning, any hair that really wouldn't take a coil really well, I would just cut it off. And that's how I kind of maintained my... Um, that's how I kind of transitioned over the years. Just like every wash day or like every time I would coil it, I would just look to see what um, ends were straggly and I would just cut them off. I think I'm done cutting. Didn't go. Oh, wait, found one right here. Do you see that? No, thanks. I see another one right here. I don't want these little guys. No. All right, you guys. I am mind blown. First of all. First of all. It took me 20 minutes to diffuse my hair. So much so that the back of my shirt is still wet. You guys can't see it, but it's still wet. Oh, wait, maybe you can see it. Well, if you can see it, just know it's still wet if you can't see it. That's how quickly I dried my hair. Granted, I did use the Dyson diffuser, but I honestly don't think that diffuser makes like a big difference in cutting your drying time. But what I do think cause that is that I only used two products they weren't heavy 
and I was scrunching out every section while I was working. I usually just scrunch out my curls at the end with a cotton t-shirt, but I did it per section and I think that really helped dry my hair faster. I haven't touched my hair much. Um, only while diffusing, I separate a couple clumped curls just so that it could dry a little bit quicker. I do have here the main choice to it for the culture, untouchable de definition, and unmatched volume, sophisticated sheen spray. My goodness, this is a long name. I'm going to put just a little bit. There's a slight cast, which I kind of want to keep. Mm, it smells good. I kind of want to keep it because I do want my curls to last. But I'm just going to use this to scrunch out the cra the cast and to just gently separate some of the curls. I don't know why this sprayed so like abruptly. <laughs> I don't know why. It smells delicious though. It smells like vanilla frosting. Mmm. It smells really good. So I'm just going to scrunch this in and just start separating. Because I already finger coiled them super like small. There's not much clumped ones. I mean, they're clumping because, you know, I did them all in the same direction. But for the most part, they're not like super clumpy like they would be if I used the diamond brush. Oh, oh, do you need to get cut? Let's see. Let's see if I can save you. Guys, I think I'm going to have to cut this straggler. Look at this. No thanks. <laughs> we don't need you. Woo. All right, these are the results and I'm honestly super duper obsessed with the way it turned out. Like, are you kidding me? I'm about to do this. Hold on guys, I found another straggler. I don't know why, what, like what's going on today? Bye. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm not gonna cut any, wait, 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 wait. Found another one. I like it to be like blunt, like you know what I mean? Like just a clean curl. No mess on the bottom. And why am I seeing some down here? Okay, let me stop. This is what happens, guys. I get carried away and then I cut my hair and then it just never grows because I just keep cutting it. Alright you guys, I am honestly loving my results. I think I'm going to be finger, finger coiling my curls more often and I'm definitely going to be incorporating this gel into my routine because hello, this gel was actually really really good. I literally have no frizz, there's not a crazy crunch on here and the hold is perfect. I'm just obsessed, obsessed with this wash and go and by the looks of it I do feel like it's going to last me a very long time guys I found another straggler should I cut her off this one maybe it's just being I don't understand what's wrong <sighs> okay let's make pretend you didn't see that <laughs> let me give you guys a close-up so you can just see how defined my curls are they just look so, so, so good. They look so juicy. I would definitely recommend if you're transitioning to start finger coiling your hair, if you have like straight pieces that just don't curl, see if they kind of start curling up with your finger coiling. If they don't curl at all, at all, at all, this is what you do. Cut it off. I'm kidding. Don't do that. Or you could do that if you want to up to you <laughs> um, but it will definitely help your transition journey and just get rid of the dead ends just, just get rid of it um, I did want to do a comparison video though I wanted to compare finger coiling versus my natural curl pattern and I wanted to do finger coiling versus the Denman brush so if you guys want to see that video as well or if I should film it if you guys are interested in seeing it let me know in the comments down below which one you're interested in seeing or if I should just do both because I like I like these results but I am curious to see how they look in comparison to the Demon brush because the Demon brush gives me a similar look I just have way more clump curls so separating takes forever but I, I do feel like I have very similar results and I like that that's why I like the Demon brush because it gives me a really uniformed look so yeah let me know what you guys want to see thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video and I will see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye